having a reliable source of income that will provide life's necessities and take care of some wants is important. And that's everybody's business. In several communities of Northern St. Catherine, where farming is a mainstay, growers are securing such a source, making a competitive shift from dependence on banana. They are now eagerly learning and trying new things to sustain the viability of their chosen profession. This northern part of St. Catherine is comprised basically of small farmers. This is a perfect program for them. It starts all the way from Top Mountain, comes all the way up from Seafield, right here up into Guys Hill. Diversify to Compete is a project designed by the European Union and the Jamaican government to drive growth in these areas. What we're doing is laying foundations on which people can build and become independently self-sufficient and profitable. In most places with an agricultural economy, the state provides a lot of the input. As a developing country, we don't have that luxury. So being able to have a development partner, such as the European Union in this case, makes our task possible, not just easier, but possible. And we have good farmers to work with, people who really want to change their lives. Technological innovation and collaboration becomes key. The Competitiveness Company, an affiliate of the Jamaica Exporters Association, was contracted by the EU to help farmers put these into practice. The Competitiveness Company is really facilitating the farmers. We provide them with planting material, fertilizer. For some crops, we actually give them spray material. They provide the labor and the other inputs that they need. Whatever they reap is theirs. The project provided for the construction of five greenhouses on selected farms and the establishment of diversified open crop production on a larger scale. A packaging house and cool truck dedicated to the production and marketing organization plays an important role in post-harvest management. One of the open field focus crops is turmeric. We have planted uh, about 18 acres so far. These farmers at Middlesex and Ragsville are showing off their harvest. Diversify the company coming place. When I was down and they came with material, planting material that is, and um, fertilizer, also training. I started with one acre turmeric, just a trial period of one acre. And from there, I can go up to about five acres. The export division of the Ministry of Agriculture commits to purchasing all the turmeric produced and at a good price. It's one of the other produces selected for the export market. With the turmeric now, it's been a boost other than to other things that I planned. Because one, I don't have to find the market for myself. They do get market for me. I used to do farming on a smaller scale, small scale, but this opened up my eyes to do farming now on a wider scale. Turmeric is a very prolific crop. It produces about 17 to 22 tons per hectare when compared with, um, with, with other spices. That's a phenomenal um, uh, yield. The project, which began in December 2009, comes to an end in May 2011. But as farmers have formed themselves into clusters, improving production and marketing strategies, the initiative's effect should remain sustainable. The project cost over 270,000 euros, of which the EU funded 75%, with the remainder coming from the Constituency Development Fund. This is one of the many programs that we funded under the, the component of the program that we call the Rural Diversification Program. They have to date over 120 beneficiaries who have expressed to us that this is a program that is working and this is a program that they really welcome. Diversify to compete, giving farmers scope to produce, helping farmers make money.